Welcome friends to our definitive guide on how to grow organic cucumbers. Today we'll embark on a journey, tracing the roots of this summer garden favorite back to ancient times. Cucumbers have a rich history and are cherished worldwide not just for their refreshing taste but for their multitude of health benefits. Cucumbers have been a mainstay in gardens for centuries, their popularity never waning. They're easy to grow, they thrive in summer weather, and they're versatile in the kitchen too. From salads and pickles to refreshing drinks and even beauty treatments. But we're not here to just talk about their uses. Our focus is on organic cucumber cultivation. Imagine growing your own cucumbers, knowing they're free from harmful chemicals and packed full of natural goodness. It's a satisfying endeavor and with our guide, it's a journey you can embark on right in your own backyard. So let's get started. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the steps of growing organic cucumbers. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. To kick off our cucumber journey, let's discuss the ideal conditions for their growth. Picture this, a location bathed in sunlight where the soil is fertile and drains well. Cucumbers you see are sun worshippers. They thrive best under full sun exposure, soaking up those golden rays to fuel their growth. But it isn't just about the sun. The soil plays a pivotal role too. A well-fertilized soil, rich in organic matter, creates a nourishing environment for our cucumber friends. This is because cucumbers are heavy feeders and require nutrient-rich soil to flourish. Good drainage is also essential as waterlogged soil can lead to root rot and other cucumber calamities. Now, let's talk about seeds. Direct seeding is the way to go for most regions. This means you plant the seeds directly into the garden where they'll grow. It's simple, straightforward, and cucumbers seem to like it that way. However, in regions where summer is as fleeting as a shooting star, starting seeds indoors might be necessary. By starting indoors, you give your cucumbers a head start, ensuring they have enough time to mature before the summer ends. So, there you have it. Sun, soil, good drainage, and the right seeding method based on your local climate. These are the pillars upon which successful cucumber cultivation rests. Now that we've set the stage right, it's time to explore the cultivation process. With the right conditions in place, we can move on to the cultivation process. The journey from seed to succulent cucumber is a fascinating one, and it all starts with consistent watering. A cucumber plant is made up of about 95% water, so regular hydration is vital. It's like a marathon runner needing to stay hydrated to cross the finish line. Next, we have mulching. Mulching is like a blanket for your plants, protecting them from temperature extremes and retaining moisture in the soil. Organic mulch, such as straw or grass clippings, not only keeps your plants cozy but also slowly decomposes, enriching the soil with nutrients. Feeding your cucumber plants with organic fertilizers is another important step in the cultivation process. It's a bit like us humans needing a balanced diet to stay healthy. Organic fertilizers release nutrients slowly, providing your plants with a steady supply of nourishment. Now let's talk about companion planting. This is where we plant certain crops together because they benefit each other. It's like having a best friend who helps you grow. Cucumbers love to hang out with corn, beans, and sunflowers. These plants provide shade, help deter pests, and enrich the soil for the cucumber plants. However, just as there are friends, there are also foes. Planting cucumbers near potatoes is a big no-no. These two don't get along as they attract similar pests and compete for nutrients. Remember, Every step in the cultivation process is crucial to yielding juicy, organic cucumbers. From watering to companion planting, each element plays a unique role in the growth of your cucumber plants. But, like any journey, there can be hurdles along the way. Understanding the cultivation process is key, but let's not forget about the pests and diseases that can affect our cucumber plants. Growing organic cucumbers isn't always smooth sailing thanks to common pests and diseases. One of the main culprits is the cucumber beetle. These little pests can cause significant damage to plants by eating the leaves and spreading bacterial wilt. Another common threat is powdery mildew. This fungal disease, which appears as a white powdery substance on the leaves, can stunt growth and reduce yield. So, how do we combat these threats organically, you ask? For cucumber beetles, introduce beneficial insects like ladybugs and spiders, which are natural predators. A physical barrier, like a row cover, can also deter these pests. For powdery mildew, a homemade solution of baking soda, water, and liquid soap can be sprayed on the affected plants. Regular pruning of infected leaves can also help to control the spread of the disease. Remember, prevention is better than cure. 
regular inspection of your plants can help you detect and address these problems early on. Armed with this knowledge you can ensure your cucumbers stay healthy. But how do you know when they're ready to be harvested? The fruits of our labor, quite literally, is the harvesting of our organic cucumbers. Harvesting is a rewarding experience but knowing when to harvest is crucial. A ripe cucumber is typically firm, bright green, and between 7 to 9 inches long. If it starts turning yellow, it's been on the vine too long. Harvesting frequency is another key factor. During peak season you might find yourself picking cucumbers every day. Yes, you heard it right, every single day. This is because cucumbers grow rapidly and delaying harvest could result in bitter tasting overripe cucumbers. Now let's talk about storage. After you've harvested your cucumbers, it's time to store them properly. Cucumbers are best stored in the refrigerator where they can last up to a week, but remember don't wash them before storage. The moisture could encourage spoilage. Instead wipe them clean with a dry cloth and store them unwashed. These pointers are not just from our experience, they're backed by research. The University of Illinois Extension and Cornell University's Gardening Resources have extensive guides on cucumber harvesting and storage, which validate our points. And there you have it. You're now ready to grow your own organic cucumbers. That wraps up our guide on how to grow organic cucumbers. We've journeyed together from choosing the right conditions for growth to the actual cultivation process. We've faced potential threats from common pests and diseases. And finally, we've harvested and stored our fresh, crisp cucumbers. It's an enriching experience, isn't it? Now, it's your turn to cultivate this wonderful summer staple. Did you find this guide useful? Leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to watch out for the 7 signs of type 2 diabetes, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, Remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.